terrible news tonight for, for France with the injury of Christopher Nkunku. He injured himself at training uh, this evening at Clairefontaine, uh, went for the ball when Kamavinga had the ball, kind of tripped on his ankle. It looked bad at the time, he didn't finish the training session. Now it's official that he has withdrawn from the front squad and will not go to the World Cup in, in Qatar, even if he was not going to start the World Cup against Australia. Uh, behind Griezmann, and Benzema and Mbappé, he was the, the first sub, really, I think, in Deschamps' mind about the attacking position. He's a very versatile player. He was going to be a, a big asset, I think, for France through the competition. So it's a big blow that uh, he got injured and that he would not travel to Qatar on Wednesday morning with the rest of the squads. Deschamps is still thinking about a replacement. There's a few names. It could be Martin Terrier, it could be Randal Kolomouani, it could be Wissam Ben Yedder, it could be Moussa Diaby, for example, from Bayer Leverkusen, or maybe even a defender like Jonathan Klaus, uh, Marseille, the right wing back. So different options maybe for Deschamps, but certainly tonight is with, with a heavy heart that France confirmed that Christopher Nkunku is injured, injured himself tonight at training and will not take part in the World Cup.